Hello, everyone, and welcome to Lintas Technology Solutions Days 2021. And thank you for taking the time out to join us today. My name is Sam Fong, and I'm a regional solution architect here in Fortinet, supporting the telco vertical within the ASEAN and, and Hong Kong region. On this session, we will cover the introduction to cybersecurity risk of 5G from enterprise perspective. We will also look at how to safeguard uh, enterprises' uh, business critical data and applications as they migrate to 5G. So we understand that 5G networks will ultimately bring uh, large scale changes, such as the, the dramatic increase in the number of devices connecting to the network and the availability of a massive bandwidth and ultra low latency. It also uh, be powered by uh, the convergence of the Internet of Things, uh, IoT, uh, the industrial IoT and industry 4.0. And the, the smart enterprise of the future is becoming a reality. Unlike previous mobile generation, which uh, mostly targeted the, the consumer segment, 5G offers a unique and valuable set of capabilities that enable and expand the implementations of transformative technologies for uh, organizations, including industrial enterprises. However, new technologies, especially those that enable and drive significant uh, change, always bring new risk. In a survey conducted by AT&T Cybersecurity, results shows that the many enterprises are getting a head start on 5G. Enterprises are indeed taking the 5G transition seriously and are preparing uh, to adjust their security posture if needed. Over 70% of the respondents rated their level of uh, concern as high or medium high when it comes to the potential impact of 5G on security. The survey also show uh, some uh, understanding that uh, 5G is a significant or extraordinary transition. Many of the, the likely attacks uh, on uh, 5G networks will be uh, the same as those encountered today. Perhaps in some uh, cases taking advantage of, of faster bandwidth and a higher uh, number of uh, network connected uh, devices, yet still relying on familiar uh, vulnerabilities and known attack methods. Uh, in the same survey, 76% uh, uh, of the respondents though, like, expect uh, wholly new uh, security threats to emerge out of uh, the, the 5G world. But what are enterprises uh, preparing for? The strongest concern tend to focus on uh, the proliferation of devices in a 5G network. Broad concerns relating to the larger uh, attack surface and the number of devices top the list, uh, followed by the need to uh, extend security policy to IoT devices and the need to authenticate the larger number of devices. These are valid concerns, but uh, there is a wider view to consider. Most of the, the transition in previous uh, uh, mobile generations, whether it's a 2G to 3G or 3G to 4G, have been about uh, faster speeds and increased uh, capacity. 5G, on the other hand, introduces uh, customized mobile connectivity and is being delivered with enterprises, uh, enterprise use cases in mind. The latter uh, appears to be a crucial gap in the way enterprises are preparing for 5G. Let us expand on some of the concerns presented in those enterprise use cases and, and, and what we need to uh, carefully consider. Uh, uh, the first case is uh, 5G FWA or fixed wireless access. So, so during the, the global pandemic, retailers had to change their business models to create a safe environment for uh, customers and, and staff alike. Uh, 
This led to a rapid uh, adoption of uh, advanced technologies and applications, which wouldn't have been possible without uh, flexible uh, connectivity. These changes have become a prevalent uh, during the pandemic. That is, it, it has accelerated the transition to smart stores and open up a new opportunities for uh, retailers uh, to use SD-WAN solutions and, and even LTE and 5G connectivity to better serve customers and improve operations both uh, inside and, and outside the store. But because uh, stores not only require the, the same functionality, they also suffer from the same uh, risk as the, the, the rest of the distributed network. For example, uh, direct access to internet and, and SaaS applications significantly expand the potential attack surface of the branch, as does the growing uh, proliferation of IoT and, and bring your own devices, BOID devices, creating multiple uh, network edges uh, beyond the WAN edge. Uh, as such, many organizations have deployed uh, multi-point products to address uh, new threats, exposures as they appear. But this approach of further uh, complicates the, the, the branch infrastructure, adding greater cost, complexity, and vulnerability. As a result, uh, branch management can be complex and, and difficult to, to, to difficult given the, the amount of, of, of equipment, including routers, uh, switches, uh, APs, firewalls, and, and WAN optimization that the branch uses. It also no secret that, that uh, the, the global pandemic has uh, proved to be a catalyst for Industry 4.0. It has accelerated uh, existing challenges and, and pain points for uh, manufacturers and accelerated the, the need for smart connectivity and digital transformation. The move to digital brings numerous uh, benefits, but also introduces uh, security risk uh, as it removes the physical separation, for example, between the, the 5G, IT, and OT network. These also include internally uh, generated the threats, for example, malware infection caused by laptops brought into the factory itself and as well as the external threats, for example, lateral movement from the, the IT network and illegal access and vulnerability attacks from, from the internet. Many businesses assume that having a private 5G network keeps them safe, but this is not uh, often the case. Uh, going wireless can uh, increase the attack service due to factors such as uh, increased IoT exposure, uh, physical mobility of devices on the network, and the interplay between the, the enterprise, the service providers, uh, IoT manufacturers, uh, OT vendors, and suppliers. With the advent of, of uh, multi-access edge computing or MAC, the computing resources is uh, uh, moved from uh, a central cloud and now brought closer to where the, the usage is, right? Which we refer to as the, the edge cloud. More appropriately, the, the, the computing is done on the premise of the man, manufacturing plant, potentially resulting in latency of less than 10 milliseconds. And of course, the eventual goal, the, the eventual goal with the MEC and 5G is to reduce this latency down to single digit. Despite the benefits, the edge cloud also uh, results uh, in business critical data and services being scattered across clouds and data centers. This leads to an uh, expanded attack surface and corresponding increase in insecurity risk. Yeah. Because cloud providers offer an increasing number of security services, it is often assumed that cloud platforms like uh, AWS are safe that everything running in these environment is uh, automatically secured. But cloud security is maintained through a shared responsibility model. This means that uh, in this case, the AWS is only responsible for uh, protecting the cloud infrastructure that runs the service offered. That is the security of the cloud. Subsequently, its customer are responsible for all the services, the applications and data they use, that is the security in the cloud. 
So what are the considerations I need to take when uh, I'm transitioning my branch uh, to 5G? So SD-WAN will play a critical role in uh, an organization's digital transformation efforts to prepare for and of course, eventually fully leverage the, the transformative uh, nature of 5G technology. So integrating a 5G underlay into uh, an SD-WAN solution can deliver a fit for cloud connectivity to, to drive better application performance and improve uh, the security. 5G not only provides improved reliability, but it also delivers a connectivity with a lower cost per byte and will be able to support the branch and the remote sites with the performance in terms of bandwidth and latency that, that can begin to compare with uh, MPLS. As 5G matures, a service provider will be able to uh, off, offer 5G slicing so, so your uh, so so your SD WAN solution. You need to have SD WAN solution that can route traffic into the different five G slices according to their specific requirement or based on application. And of course, one of the challenges in in, in hybrid and, and, and multi cloud world is that applications and data can uh, span across multiple platforms, technologies, edges, and regions. So, so. So you need to have a, a SD-WAN solution that can offer a secure 5G connectivity to all your major cloud providers, including the 5G Mac, and of course, uh, uh, your data centers. And as an organization, it is imperative to, to, to simplify the, the branch architecture with secure SD-WAN and integrated the Wi-Fi, LAN, uh, and 5G that all can be centrally managed and scalable to thousands of offsites. By combining secure SD-WAN, LAN switches, Wi-Fi AP, and 5G wireless extender in one interoperable solution, this integrated approach provides you with a, a simplified uh, single console management for all your networking and security needs at the, the branch. So, so from for the net perspective, our software defined branch or SD branch solution integrates our 40 gate and next generation firewall, the 40 switches and 40 APs into a single consolidated solution. With the single pane of glass management capability of uh, the 40 manager and the 40 analyzer, you can uh, uh, actually combine security and network layer visibility. Uh, this to help uh, ease you the burden of uh, your limited IT staff while uh, enabling a uh, proactive uh, risk management. And our 40 extender, the 5G 40 extender seamlessly integrates with and extends the utility of our SD branch solution with 5G cellular services. We deliver a, a secure SD-WAN as an integrated capability of, of our industry-leading FortiGate. Our FortiGate can uh, identify and classify over 5,000 applications, and we continuously learn new ones. Furthermore, with FortiNet, the CTA, the Zero Trust Access, and the CTNA, the Zero Trust Network Access Solution, you can add uh, visibility, detection, and control of IoT devices, along with the added uh, ability to track and detect anomaly via uh, inline traffic analysis, as well as verify users and devices before every application sessions. And, and, and if we look at that, that uh, private 5G, when it comes to securing enterprise uh, private 5G environment, uh, this involves uh, uh, applying many of the, the, the same cybersecurity strategies used in IT world uh, to the IoT, industrial IoT architecture and use cases. Uh, first, we need to identify and, and probe devices as part of the asset visibility. For this, we need to uh, employ systems that, that are capable of automatically uh, building an inventory and tracking the real-time stages of these uh, uh, devices, as well as a gathering metrics such, such as uh, device type, location, traffic patterns, uh, threat level, and so forth. You also need to identify devices and control protocols and application types, including which devices can use certain protocols or communicate with 
specific applications. And of course, the IoT devices are a prime candidates for attacks. Many of these IoT devices come with minimal built-in security at best. So preventing intrusion on these devices requires the ability to detect and block uh, exploits, reconnaissance, and fuzzing attacks. And of course, virtual patching and breach detection can help here as well. And network access control solution are uh, also an important part of uh, a zero trust access model uh, for private 5G security. It enables your IT staff to uh, easily know who and what are accessing the, the network, as well as ensuring the integrity of the IoT, IoT, and OT devices before they connect to your production network, which minimizes the risk and possible uh, spread of malware. Most important, you can. You, you also need to segment uh, your private 5G networks into physical or virtual secure segments. We need to apply uh, segmentation between the LANs or WANs to control the, the north-south communication. And of course, we also need to apply uh, micro segmentation within the LANs to control the, the, uh, the east-west uh, communication. And the last step is to have a centralized logging and monitoring that enables you to observe the entire IoT and OT ecosystem from a single point, uh, usually a SOC or, or a network operations center, a NOC. So, so how do Fortinet secure your private 5G network? So, so the, the Fortinet IoT and OT solution consists of a number of a best practice uh, security components that together provide a comprehensive protection uh, to the industry 4.0 ecosystem. Because the term IoT and OT uh, it, uh, is in itself a wide ranging and the solution need to be compromised of a broad integrated and automated feature set, right? Which can be applied as needed for each individual uh, use case. In terms of, of asset management within the, the IoT and OT ecosystems, uh, several solutions within the Fortinet security fabric can help, uh, uh, including uh, the, the FortiGate next generation firewalls, the, the Fortinet, ne uh, Fortinet uh, network access control, and in a combination with the 40 analyzer central log management and analysis platform capabilities. And with uh, the, the 40 gate, uh, we can monitor or limit which IoT or IoT or OT uh, industrial protocol can be used by the device as well as uh, applications with which it can communicate. Fortigate can also detect and block a wide range of attacks against uh, IoT and OT. Our IPS, the Intrusion Prevention System, features more than 30,000 rules, including an optional industrial security service package for ICS, Industrial Control System, uh, and OT. The Fortigate is also uh, able to provide a security beyond the edge by reducing the, the attack surface through uh, network segmentation to prevent the lateral propagation of north-south threats and micro segmentation to prevent uh, east-west uh, proliferation. Our Fortinet solutions, including the Fortinet Analyzer, the Fortinet Manager, and the Fortinet Scene can enable uh, a centralized logging and monitoring for the Fortinet technologies deployed both within your private 5G uh, ecosystem uh, uh, and across the broader uh, industry 4.0 environment. We can also collect the information from hundreds of other uh, vendors, devices that are part of the, the Fortinet the open uh, fabric uh, ecosystem. And, and, and if we look at the 5G, so, so 5G and Mac, uh, much has been written on the concerns surrounding cloud security, but MEC and 5G security are equally uh, important because the MEC is uh, closer uh, to where the data is used and created. Rather than push through a data center, uh, businesses need to consider how 5G may impact the security of the data on the edge. 
as an organization, if you want to secure uh, your 5G Mac, you know, whether it's a private Mac, public Mac, or a hybrid of the two, you need to do it from, from uh, the ground up so that you have a solid foundation. The first step is to secure your cloud access connectivity that is without uh, uh, impacting the performance. We need to do. We need to have uh, fast, secure uh, connectivity with IPsec VPN or SSS VPN, and we need to segment the connectivity for increased security and at the same time uh, prevent attacks at the WAN edge of your uh, cloud networks. Next, we need to protect uh, uh, and mitigate against internal and external cloud threats. So we can uh, inspect the, the, the lateral threat movement between the virtual networks and stop intrusion attacks across all the virtual networks, as well as filter uh, internet-bound uh, traffic across all the virtual networks. We also need to simplify and consolidate uh, your uh, cloud network and security. We do this by, by creating a seamless multi-cloud SD-WAN network uh, with consistent security posture across the uh, clouds and on-premise, in this case, the back, to reduce your uh, operational uh, complexity. We will add a single pane of glass management. And additionally, we need to protect your cloud workloads to make sure we are deploying uh, the applications and the containers that are secure and that cannot pose a threat to, to the surrounding elements or to the cloud platform. And last step is to protect the applications you deploy and the data you store in the cloud. We can do this by protecting your applications and APIs from, for example, OWASP uh, top 10 and other known threats as well as unknown threats originating from uh, vulnerability exploits, bots and malware. Whether you want to, uh, to have a security access, uh, uh, securely access a cloud provider infrastructure or build a net new uh, applications uh, on cloud provider. Fortinet uh, provides a broad set of, of active, uh, natively uh, integrated uh, security solution for full visibility, advanced threat uh, defense and centralized management in the cloud. For example, Fortinet helps uh, customers uh, operationally simplify their cloud on ramp and SD-WAN deployment to offer the most uh, secure, uh, seamless, and superior uh, quality experience. And with the broadest uh, deployment integration options on premise uh, at the data center and across uh, all major cloud platforms, uh, Fortinet the Secure SD WAN can act as the hub to interconnect all your applications across any cloud, including uh, MEC. Additionally, we can help uh, simplify your SD WAN operations, delivering centralized management and cloud on ramp orchestration and automation. This, this not only enables uh, the ease of a deployment, but also delivers flexibility and ease of scale as your digital transformation needs evolves and grows. To help customer address a container uh, security, Fortinet has just introduced the 40 CWP, a cloud workload protection service designed to help uh, organizations gain deeper visibility into their uh, security posture for container-based workloads across the multi-cloud environments. 40 CWP integrates with APIs provided by the cloud vendors, uh, including AWS, Azure, uh, Google Cloud Platform, to monitor and track all security components, including configurations, user activity, and traffic flow logs. 40 CWP will also scan the containers for vulnerabilities and misconfiguration, and uh, scan the cloud data store for sensitive or, or malicious uh, content. Additionally, uh, the cloud marketplace uh, enables a full software lifecycle management for all your Fortinet uh, solutions, making it easy for you to access and deploy and onboard your suite of security services. And with that, uh, to wrap this up, uh, our, our Fortinet security fabric provides a common set of security solutions and tools that provide end-to-end -end security visibility and control that supports both the 5G service providers 
and enterprise customer over the entire ecosystem and across all use cases. This approach facilitates the integration and onboarding while keeping operations and management efforts to a minimum as the platform is constantly used throughout the 5G ecosystems. And it does this by providing a flexible, adaptable, broad, intelligent, and automated security platform. So with that, I want to thank you for uh, joining uh, this session. I hope it gave you uh, something to think about and I wish you a very good day. Thank you.